Welcome to Cold Cap Club. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about getting your hair ready for treatment in terms of do you need to cut your hair and how you can have the best quality of your hairstyle ready for scalp cooling. I'm really pleased to be making this because in the work that I do with the charity that I founded, Cancer Hair Care, um, one of the worst things that can happen is when someone emails me or I see them in one of my NHS clinics and they've gone and had all their hair cut really, really short, which really shouldn't be necessary at all during scalp cooling. So I've made this video where where I'm actually talking to Claire Paxman from Paxman Scalp Callers and together we just go through that topic in detail for you and that way you should be much more certain about when it is appropriate to visit the hairdressers and maybe have a bit of a trim before scalp cooling and we'll just go through the different hair types and textures so that you can feel that your hair is in the optimum condition and ready for putting your curl cap on and having scalp cooling treatment. When people are getting ready for scalp cooling treatment, one of the big questions we get asked all the time is, do I need to cut my hair short? Mm. And we say, please, no, it's not necessary to have your hair cut short. Absolutely, maybe have the dry ends cut off of the hair, but one of the whole purposes of scalp cooling is that people can try to have a style that they maintain yeah. themselves as a style. Yeah, absolutely, and I'm so glad you've brought this one up because um, the amount of times that, that we speak to people directly and they have been told that they should have their hair cut into a really short style, like mine, yeah. um, you know, that it's going to make scalp cooling work better, you're going to have better results having shorter hair. That is not the case at all. It does not matter how long your hair is at all. Um, so it, it's important that you get the right information. So yeah, please don't go ahead and if you've got hair here, to go and have it all, all cut off. Um, the only time that we would recommend for people to have the hair cut is, let's say for example, if you've got hair down to your waist, um, it would be a, a good idea to have it cut then. Um, but then otherwise, it's uh, having it cut into a more manageable length. Uh, and what we mean by that is we know that hair loss does occur during scalp cooling. Yeah. So you're expected to lose between 30 to 50% of your hair. So that hair loss that does occur when you see that, if you prefer to see hair this long um, as opposed to this long, then, as I say, have it cut into something much more manageable. So the key thing is for people, you don't have to have your hair cut short at all. If yeah. you've got long hair, it's more about two things. One, how manageable your hair is. So yeah. it's, it's, you know, as we said, it's easy to brush through every day and take care of. Yeah. And how you feel about it. If we expect hair to thin, if hair is a shorter length as opposed to a longer length, there's going to be less hair seen when that comes out. Yeah, absolutely. And I also think it's important that they have more hair um, to be able to uh, to be as effective as possible and as I say managing the side effects so we know um, we have further developed our cap so we have got a much better fitted cap but that's not everywhere um, that's not been used everywhere yet so we do know that one of the issues with our previous cap is that it can cause you can um, have crown hair loss on the yeah. top um, uh, because the cap is not necessarily touching so um, we know, don't we, that yes, uh, if, you, if you do have hair loss here, there's lots of tips you can do, but having longer hair helps you to manage um, by covering up styles of, of that as well. So that's another reason not to go and have it cut into a, into a shorter length. Absolutely, when people come into us sometimes and maybe it's thinned in an area, if they haven't gone and had the hair cut short, then we can play around with it a little bit, you know, grip it up or yeah. add in some coloured hairspray. And so, in a way, it's a benefit to have those the, the length of hair to work with. Having said that, if people have already got short hair and they're starting scalp cooling, they shouldn't panic. The hair is as it is. Yeah, and, absolutely. you know, no matter what length the hair is, the key message here is you don't have to get your hair cut short.